Alright guys, we're doing some City Skylines here. This is one of my favorite games right now. Well, it has been for a while. I built a pretty sick city. Uh, let's see, by the name of Louisville right here, named after Lil Lou. I have some of these downloads from the, uh, from like the workshop just to see what's up, just to see how they look. But I got my Louisville right here. So uh, we're actually going to start a new game here. Let's see. I will give, let's do something I haven't done before with you guys. How about we'll do a startup on two rivers here, just for you guys. Two rivers, here we go. We're gonna be doing this. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a basic startup. Um, just how to get started in the game real quick. Like if you just bought it or something and you're coming on to City Skylines for the first time. I'll show you my basic way to do a little startup of a city right when this uh, game decides to load. Alright, so uh, I played this plenty of times. I have like a hundred hours played or some ridiculous amount like that. But all right, I haven't played this map ever before. And uh, first thing I'm noticing right off the bat is this, this cool stuff right here. I don't know what that is. Looks cool though, but the water is not flowing, so... That's going to create an issue as far as sewage goes a little bit later on when the city starts to make a lot of sewage. So I'm just going to keep the game on pause for a little bit and I'm going to get the road work mapped out here. I'm not going to do anything too crazy at first. This is just a startup. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do like a little block. Um, I know some of you guys out there that are definitely into this game more than I am if there is anybody out there that plays this. Uh, my technique isn't really the best, but it'll get us by for this little series I'm going to do here on City Skylines with you guys. Because I really like this game. I want to spread the joy. I want to spread the knowledge of the City Skylines here. So this is usually how I start up. This is a pretty basic startup. Take it. Just take a quick gander here. Uh, I'm going to actually connect these together. I'm going to have to fix this whole intersection later on in the game, but now the next issue is you need to get water from for your city here. So there there is a small amount of current here. I'm going to actually put my water pump right here. See these little arrows pointing this way? It means that the water is flowing this way. So you always want sewage downstream because I'll show you why later on. This thing pumps out massive amounts of diarrhea, which you don't want floating around because it's kind of gross looking. All right, we're going to do that. We're going to connect these together with a water pipe. And then we're going to have to come in here and uh, we're going to have to do something like this here. And then uh, maybe I'll go like this. Just see that all these like little clear boxes are zoning. You want to have all of those uh, watered up. So now that our water system's complete, we have to do something about power. Oh, see all this dark like when you click the power icon and you have the wind turbine see how all this is like darker look at the uh, estimated electricity production right there eight and then over here is like three the lighter it is the less electricity you're gonna make so I'm gonna plop one of these down here let's see we have 35 grand left I'm actually gonna put another one down here because these all need power and now we need power for over here I want to put one here I'm debating on putting it over here and running power lines over there and just making the shoreline like my electricity production area because it looks really deep like see all this dark water that'd be really good for water turbines later on but let's not overwhelm anybody here we're doing a basic startup I'm gonna leave it like that for now I'm gonna run as dumb as it sounds I'm gonna do some power cabling like I'm just gonna leave it right there for now and then we'll see what happens as far as development goes in a minute here um, I'm actually gonna do this. It's kind of dumb, but I know exactly what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna just kind of I want three of these live To provide power for the whole city now see how this is there connects to this one connects to this one And then all these people have power. So I'm gonna resume this We're gonna go to zoning here now. We have to zone all this. I'm gonna this green here. This is all Residential so I'm gonna zone this. Oh shit. I don't want this zoned off right there. I'll do uh, markets. This is like right here is uh, low density commercial. That's like little stores and whatnot. And here we have industrial. I always do it in a separate area so that noise pollution isn't a factor. 
Um, this is pretty much what you're gonna be. If you've gotten this far in the video, and uh, you have this game, look, there we have development right there. Bingo. So we're gonna just pop this baby on fast forward and see what's good. Look at this bar right here that this is the mouse is on. We got a high demand for housing. That's why there's so many people moving in. This should be all powered up. Nope, we have to actually bridge this to right there. And then all these people are now energized, so that's good. No, f Oh, first factory popping up right here. That's good, that's good. This is good. So pretty much now it's just a waiting game here until all right so now you're gonna have to take care of these needs blue is shops like this is industrial for orange and green is uh is housing so oh we need to power up the uh, industrial zone here let's do that it's all watered out already so we're good that's that's it right there that's a small startup maybe we can add a little bit more see we are in a demand for industrial i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna expand this one row here yeah, that's really sloppy, but let's see. All right, now we have all this right there. That's golden right there. Let's see if it's got water yet. Yeah, we got water to everywhere except there. Hopefully no one pops up in that little gap right there. Uh, the water is looking good. The current, definitely there's a current. I thought there wasn't a current, but there is. Power's going good. I got the windmills pumping. Look at that. She's, she's pumping, dude. Oh, yeah, pumping. Look at these graphics. They're gorgeous, too, guys. Like... It's a really fun game. Like I said, I put a lot of hours into it. Um, I got Cam into it too, but he's still like kind of noobish with it. He'll get it soon, but uh, I've built like a shit ton of worlds that were unsuccessful, some that were successful. I played with cheats. I've really experimented with what does and does not work. So now we got to do more housing. We'll just drop some more roads down here. Let's see, we're gonna go like this. I'll add, I'll do a block, I'll do a sideways block, actually. Try and use, be as good, there we go, look at that, you saw how perfectly that took up the land right there. Look at that, all that new housing, people are about to start moving in, see that I got a high demand for housing, so. We'll see what's up here, this is looking like a pretty good startup, oh we need uh, workers for the factory here, so. All these people moving in right there, they're going to be golden shit. They need water. These people need... Oh, I got a congratulations. Reach a population of 420. Look at that. We unlocked an elementary school and some other good stuff. So we're actually going to go ahead and plop down an elementary school because the first thing that I start doing is working on schooling because later on in the game, I'm going to do something with the industrial area, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do, but that's that's for later on. Let's just focus on getting a really good startup for now. Right here is a pretty good startup, actually. We got this little residential area with a school now. We got this, uh, you know, industrial section here, and then we have the spot on here for, you know, your basic shops, and uh, it looks pretty good. We got a really good, uh, it's positive here. We're not going negative anymore for uh income and now we have a decent amount of people moving into the town too you can see right here we're at a 160 ish so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna actually expand this a little bit more here just so that we're i'm kind of future proofing this little area i'm gonna just go ahead and i'm gonna pop these down like that I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to click it all in yet. And then when these ones fill up, then I'll go and highlight these ones out. But we're, it's looking pretty good. Oh, I saw that cash symbol over here. We're going good with the startup. Let's see. I unlock sanitation. So I'm going to put the landfill. You're going to want the landfill because pretty soon all these people are going to start making a shit ton of garbage. And like little garbage icons are going to pop up over their house. So what you're going to want to do here is place a landfill somewhere in your industrial area just so that uh, your residents here don't complain about smell or noise or whatever the case may be just put it over here in your little industrial area next we're gonna do a, a little hospital but we need to build up some more money see right there cost 10 grand for the medical clinic we only have 7,000 but I'm gonna actually pop the game on fast forward and uh, maybe make some more industrial zone we'll see what happens we got newcomers right here oh they need water i keep forgetting to add water we're just gonna go expand expand we're gonna do this just 
screw it for now. Do it nice and easy. Nice and simple. Making some profits now. Our little industrial area is booming. Maybe we'll add... I might... I don't know. This is going to get traffic really bad at some point later in the game. But let's not focus on that right now. I don't know why I keep bringing it up. But we'll see what's good with, with this for now. Because if you've gotten this far and you're this far along, you got a little industrial zone. You got a nice size residential. You got some commercial. You're doing good. You're doing good for yourself. And all your numbers are green. You're positive with uh, people coming in. You're positive with your income. So now it's pretty much you're going to kind of pretty up your city a little bit you're gonna want to put that health care in there right when you make the money to buy it because the more like attractions I want to say you have the more people are gonna come in because they want like your hospitals they want your goodies in a nutshell so now we're making a pretty decent amount of income right there you can see we got rocking 1200 and rising right oh there we go we are at a worthy village of 850, which is we had just unlocked all of this nice stuff right here. So I'm going to let you guys go. That is the startup of this Haggard Garage Gaming little city and city skylines I got going on here. I'm going to save the game. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to do it Haggard. Actually, no, we'll just do Haggard Garage Gaming. Uh, let's see, number one, because I don't know how many of these cities we're going to end up doing together. Let me know what you guys want to see. I'm going to save this as HGG number one so that we can come back to it. And I want to work on this city with you guys. I want you guys to see every step of the way. So uh, there you guys have it. That's number one right there. We got a nice little startup going. So in the next one, I'm going to teach you guys a little bit more about adding and playing around with some of these features on the bottom. So... Like I said, now that you have this startup going, you should be good. And uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And stick around for some more City Skyline stuff.